All right, found myself a little, a little hidden spot here in Campos. It's a beautiful a little mountain with some beautiful caves inside, I'm told. So I'm gonna go and hike this a bit alone here on Sunday afternoon and see what I can find. It looks very, very cool. Look at the mountains. Very nice, look. Beautiful. All right, so I guess I will start by going in here. I have no idea what awaits me because it looks rather dark, but we will see very soon. Wish me luck. Well, I've made it into the cave through a dark passage. It's a bit eerie because it's really, really dark. And I mean, there's not much to see as you can see other than that it's a small cave which is pretty cool it goes on down there but i'm not sure i'm gonna go there Let's see have a look all the way up there i always worry if there's some sort of an animal in here uh, i don't think so it's kind of dry Anyway, this is the one of the caves. I mean, I'm not gonna, it's not that easy to get down there. Nobody wants. I think I'd go from another side. Anyway, that's part one. Let's see, let's carry on our little adventure here. Back through the darkness of the cave. And let's see, this is what, what I do at Rob's Health Crunch. I, I connect myself with nature and Go out into nature and explore like this. It's very important. It makes it stimulates me. It makes my mind feel great. It makes me feel happy. You know, instead of just there's nobody here, it's just me. Instead of just feeling, you know, sitting in a bar or whatever, doing nothing on a Sunday, this is what I do. Whew, okay, that's that. Now, let's see if I can find another entrance somewhere. Alrighty, so I'm ex continuing my exploring here outside of the cave of the, the mountain that houses the cave I should say but it's I think it's mostly used for climbing up these, these rock formations here and it's quite difficult to whoa to get into <laughs> so I go in here again and have a look anyway so look here I am I've climbed up these boulders a bit Get to a little of a ledge. Over there you have Kep. You can see the mountains in the distance. And actually right behind, behind that you can see Pukok Island. And then Kampot is over there by those mountains, Boko Mountain. So yes, lovely little small adventure. To see this little little mountain. I mean I could probably climb up there without ropes, but the problem is then how, how do I get down? That's a bit too tricky. Going up, that, that is one thing. Coming down is another. Anyway, so we'll leave that to another day. Just want to make sure I get down this one safely. For which I have to turn off the camera and see you later. Very nice indeed to see this beautiful little space, I mean spot, space spot, whatever. Anyway, it's lots of these places to discover in this campot area, which I'm going to do in the next days because I haven't really gone out and, and hiked and trekked enough. So I'm going to catch up with that one. All right then, all the best from me here, Rob, about Cambodia and robshealthcrunch.com. Go there, bye-bye. Right, so after that little trip to the mountains, the cave exploration, I'm just finishing off, finishing off the adventure, exploring an adventure afternoon from today by walking the lotus pond a little bit again just to finish off you know then some, some stretching some flexibility it's uh it's coming up for five o'clock i think it is sun is sun is up beautiful huh the next hour it'll go set, set down below the by the boko mountain it's, it's around 6 6 15 actually 
someone told me 5.30, but I see it every day, so I'm always out. Anyway, this is it. Have a great, have a great day, have a great evening. Get out into nature, explore, adventure. <sighs> gives you power, man, it gives you power. It makes you happy and healthy. All right, talk to you later, Rob, about Cambodia and rockshealthcrunch.com. See you and be well. Live well.